Welcome to We Can Breathe. In this 15-minute moving meditation, we'll be exploring black power as joy. And so bringing your hands into prayer and placing them at your navel center with your fingers facing outwards, coming into a comfortable seat of choice. And then drawing your chin slightly towards your chest, you can close your eyes or soften your gaze and start to feel some deep belly breaths at the navel. As you inhale, feeling it rise and exhale, soften towards the spine. And we'll open with a deep breath in through the nose and a sigh out the mouth. <sighs> Closing the lips and feeling the breath cycling in and out through the nostrils. We'll start with a kapyasana, a clap, and rubbing the hands together to create some heat. And then pausing a few inches apart here, feeling that electricity between the hands. And then on an inhale, it starts to rise and expand until you come up to a V up and overhead, curling the fingers with the thumbs towards each other. And we'll begin to do our breath of fire here. So a deep belly breath in as you strike the navel towards the spine, exhaling through the nose. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, hands overhead in prayer. Draw it through the midline to the heart, to the navel, and return fingers facing forward. And we'll begin again, clapping here, a spark of energy, creating this heat between the hands, and then pausing. And then expanding with each breath and rising up and overhead into this V, curling the fingers, thumbs towards each other, breath of fire, deep breath in. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep breath in, drawing through prayer to the heart. An navel, fingers forward, last time, Inhaling, on each inhale, can you take up even more space with breath, but also with the movement, thumbs towards each other, big belly breath in, and begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Breath in, drawing past the heart, returning to the navel, fingers facing forward, Take a deep breath in, and we'll repeat once more in your own time. towards the knee to place the hand on the knee, opposite hand behind the back. Inhale to lift the navel, lift the heart, exhale to twist. Inhale to press into that front left hand, exhale to twist. And release back to center, take a deep breath in. And an exhale to release. As you turn over your left knee, right hand to knee, left hand behind, Lengthen the spine. On a deep inhale, exhale to twist at the navel. 
Lifting the heart, exhale, ringing out the spine. Coming back to center. Drawing the knees together, planting the feet, lifting the belly towards the thighs and coming to the toes, lifting one shin and the other, perhaps releasing the hands or lifting them up in your V, fingers curled, thumbs towards each other, lengthening the heels up as the thumbs come to touch through prayer, crossing at the ankles and coming to hands and knees. Moving through a few rounds of cat-cow, dropping the belly, lifting heart and tailbone, rounding the spine, chin towards the chest. And then start to create some heat by finding a kriya or a repetitive movement here in your cat-cow. One breath, one movement. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And finding your own rhythm. As you tuck the toes, float the knees about an inch off of the ground and feeling your navel engage as you keep your heart lifted up towards your hands. Dropping the knees, untucking the toes. Lifting the right arm up and open, and then threading the arm underneath the left as you lift the left fingertips up, internally rotate the arm and find the inner right hip crease. Inhale to release the arm. Extend the right arm back up and placing it down. As you tuck the right toes, rocking back and forth on the heel, finding length in the back body. Lifting the heel opposite fingertips and then coiling in elbow to knee. Continuing to find the breath. Inhale to extend, exhale to draw in. You place the hand down, toes down. Shift to your right hand as you twist and lift the left fingertips. Scissor the legs together, opening and lying back in the heart. Placing the hand down and now spinning to the heel of the right foot, lifting the right arms as it lengthens up and overhead. A modified side plank, inhale to rise. As you bring the right arm down the body, left arm up and over ear, gate pose. A deep breath into the side body. Exhale to release the hands back to tabletop. Tucking the toes once again, and floating the knees an inch off the mat, keeping the heart lifted, navel engaged. Feeling that fire start to rise, you'll tuck the left toes now, reach back through the heel and through the crown. And as you find center, floating the left heel, right fingertips forward, and pulsing elbow to knee. Dropping the hand as you inhale to lift the left fingertips up and open, threading through, threading the needle. This time the right fingertips lift, internally rotate and find a an half bind here. Shoulder opener, keeping the hips high. Inhale to lift the hand, placing the right hand back down, opening the left arm. Exhale to release it down. Tucking the left toes, and now finding a spinal twist here, grounding into your left hand, floating the right, scissoring the legs. As you drop the hand, spin to the outside of that left foot. Right hand grounds, left fingertips lift, top arm up and over the ear, opening the side gate of the body. As you inhale to rise in gate pose, lift the right arm up and overhead, left arm comes down the left leg. Spin the heart up and underneath the arm on a deep breath in. Exhale, windmill the hands down to hands and knees. As you tuck the toes, finding your plank pose, lifting the thighs, navel, heart up, 
Lifting your gaze slightly. Continue to breathe here. As you lower your way all the way down into prostration. Arms out in front of you in a V, palms lifted. Take a deep breath in as you sigh and surrender down and towards the ground. Bringing the hands alongside the shoulders and coming back towards child's pose, toes together, knees wide. Sinking the hips back towards the heels. Again, the heart softening. The front of the heart wide open, the back strong. And then making your way to downward facing dog, softening in the knees. Tipping the hips up and back to find clarity in the spine. As you make your way forward, bending the knees, resting the belly towards the thighs, dropping the head, perhaps finding the hands to the heels or to the ground. As you inhale, circulate, circulate the arms out and overhead. Binding prayer, drawing it past the third eye, the heart, and to the navel. Take a nice deep belly breath here, and an exhale. Allowing the arms to rest alongside the body. Lifting the toes again, spreading them and rooting them down on the ground. And we'll close with a deep breath in through the nose and a deep sigh out of your mouth. <sighs> Gently allowing your eyes to flutter open. <sighs> 